Hey guys, let's discuss fuel quality here in the UK and more specifically petrol and also which one you should opt for, the cheaper E10 95 octane or the pricier super unleaded 98 octane. I will jump ahead of myself here and let you know that it is generally considered that fuels with lower ethanol content are better for the engines. Now based on that I will let you know which of the popular UK fuel retailers have the least amount of ethanol in their fuels. Looking at some tests, the fuels that have least amount of ethanol are BP Ultimate, Shell V-Power and Texaco Super Unleaded with all keeping its ethanol content at almost 0% which is a very good and surprising result to which I'm gonna get to in a second. Now they're followed very closely by ESSO and their Synergy Supreme 99 Octane. And now for those cars made to benefit from the higher octane, here are the fuels that will provide you with more power. On the first place is Tesco Momentum 99 octane, followed very closely by Shell V Power, and then on a third place is ESSO 99 Synergy Supreme. And let's get back to reality, where more people were using the cheaper E10 fuel, which is the 95 octane and compare it to the more expensive and after that comparison hopefully you're going to be able to decide for yourself which one of the fuels is going to be better for your situation and your car. The premium unleaded which is the 95 RON and the super unleaded 97, 98 and 99 RON are both types of gasoline that contain ethanol and the ethanol is a renewable fuel made from agricultural products such as corn, sugarcane and wheat. Let's discuss the benefits of the E10 95 octane. The E10 95 octane is usually less expensive. The E10 95 octane is more widely available than the E5 98 octane. E10 95 octane contains more ethanol which is a renewable fuel made from agricultural products. And now let's discuss the drawbacks. E10 95 octane has a lower octane rating than the E5 98 octane, which can lead to lower fuel efficiency. E10 95 octane has higher emissions of some pollutants, such as nitrogen oxides, than gasoline without ethanol. Ethanol can be corrosive to some engine components, especially in older vehicles that were not designed to run on ethanol blended fuels. Now let's look at the benefits of the E5 98 octane fuel. E5 98 octane has a higher octane rating, which means it can be compressed more before it ignites, leading to a better fuel efficiency. E5 98 octane can help keep engine parts clean and free of deposits. Let's discuss the drawbacks of the E5 98 octane. E5 98 octane is generally more expensive not as widely available as the E10 95 octane, so it may not be available in all fuel stations. This depends on your car. If you own a high performance car, a premium fuel may improve driving performance and fuel efficiency and may even be required by the manufacturer. However, for many cars, premium fuel makes no big difference to their performance, but could see you paying out more for no reason. So research first before topping up. Since 2011, all new cars sold in the UK have been E10 compatible, but despite this, the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, for short SMMT, estimates around 8% of the UK petrol cars remain incompatible with the few. Drivers of cars registered before 2002 are advised not to use E10 in their vehicles, as problems can occur. If you put E10 in an incompatible car, it will still run, but seals, plastics and metal might be damaged over time due to the bioethanol corrosive properties. The answer to that question you got it earlier when I showed you that the Tesco super unleaded fuel is one of the top performers for delivering more power to your car. But in short, no, it is not dangerous. There are not any major differences between the supermarket and the branded fuels. The supermarket fuel conforms to the same standards, the British standard, as branded fuels supplied by one of the major oil companies. Using a higher grade of fuel will provide a degree of fuel efficiency, but may not be significant compared with other factors which affect fuel economy, 
most notably driver behavior, vehicle load, tire pressure and traffic and weather conditions. Some cars specify the use of higher octane fuels, but drivers are unlikely to see any fuel efficiency benefits, particularly as they will be paying more for super unleaded. And now the answer to the main question, what is the best fuel for my car? The best thing is to check your manual. And if you're still unsure if your car can run on an E10 fuel, I'm gonna give you a link to an online checker where you can see if your car is compatible with this fuel. And I'll see you in the next video.